In this video, I'll be comparing Cursor versus Z and telling you which of these tools may be best for you and your needs. So I'll go over what exactly they do, who they are for, and ultimately which one I would pick. So first let's go over their core concepts and what exactly they are. So Cursor is an AI-first code editor built as a fork of Visual Studio Code. And its core concept is to provide a deeply integrated AI experience within a familiar local development environment, focusing on intelligent code completion, generation refactoring, and code base aware chat. It aims to be a powerful and all encompassing AI pair programmer for professional developers. Z, on the other hand, is a high performance open source code editor written from scratch in Rust. And its core concept is to deliver unparalleled speed, responsiveness, and real-time collaboration capabilities. While it integrates AI features, its primary differentiation lies in its low latency, efficient resource utilization, and native support for multi-user editing, making it an ideal choice for developers who prioritize performance and collaborative efficiency. So in terms of their target audiences, for cursor, it's mainly professional developers and especially those already using VS Code, teams and enterprises, and developers working on complex code bases. Then Z's main target audiences are developers who want to prioritize speed, low latency, and efficient resource usage in their editor, teams and collaborative developers because of its real-time multiplayer features, then developers seeking a lean, modern experience, who might find VS Code too feature-heavy or slow. So as a fully open-source project, it appeals to those who value the transparency and community contribution. Now I'll go over their strengths and weaknesses. So first, Cursor's strengths are the deep AI integration, the code base wide understanding, the familiarity for VS Code users, its powerful features, so composer mode for large-scale changes, multi-line tab completion, and a robust chat, as well as the privacy options that are the strengths on Cursor. Now, the limitations are that it is a closed-source product, which means less transparency compared to, for example, Z. Also the performance, so while generally it is good, it can sometimes feel less snappy than editors built from scratch for performance, especially with large projects or many extensions due to its VS code foundation. Also the cost is higher on cursor, so advanced features and access to powerful AI models often come with a subscription fee. Then on the other hand, Z's strengths are the very fast performance, the native real-time collaboration, is the lean and modern UI, that it is open source, so again the transparency, the community contribution, and the ability to customize. And the other strength is that it is very efficient in resource usage. Now the limitations for Z include the maturity of its AI features, because its AI capabilities are generally considered less mature and comprehensive than Cursor's dedicated AI focus and the extension ecosystem, and that it is a newer editor, so it might still have some missing features or rough edges compared to more established IDEs and the limited OS support. So now I'll go over which one I would pick in each scenario. So first, I would go with Cursor if you are a professional developer whose primary goal is to maximize productivity through deeply integrated codebase aware AI assistance. Also, if you are already comfortable with the VS Code interface and ecosystem and want to improve it with AI. I would also pick Cursor if you frequently engage in tasks like large scale refactoring, code generation from natural language, or if you need an AI to quickly understand and debug complex code bases. On the other hand, I would go with Z if you prioritize raw performance, speed, and responsiveness in your code editor above all else. If real-time collaborative coding, such as pair programming or for group projects, is a core part of your workflow and you want a native, seamless experience. If you prefer a lean, modern, and potentially more resource-efficient editor, if you value open source projects and if you're willing to accept a slightly less mature AI feature set in exchange for superior performance and collaboration features over Cursor. So that concludes this comparison of Cursor versus Z. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. 
With that being said, I will see you in the next video.